number five, Jeff Stanton, right next to the starter shack. The gate about to drop on the 26th running of the historic Hangtown National Sacramento, California. We're underway. A fair bit of dust on the charge to turn one. The whole shot belongs to the Yamaha of number 19, Mike Craig. If you've been following the Supercross series, you know that one guy, Mike Morocco, on your tail, but knowing that the champion is right there with him makes it doubly difficult. And here's Larocco's move to the inside. He's got the line. That's a done deal. He will pass Lewis, and Kodrowski comes right with him, and Lewis just had no response. Meanwhile, the battle is on for the lead. Michael Craig has been caught by the Kawasaki's, and it's a three-man war up front. But it seems that Michael Craig has become vulnerable here. The Kawasaki's, oh, he's wide, and Mike LaRocco dives underneath to take the lead. LaRocco grabs the top spot, and Kodrowski comes with him. He's got a pretty big points gap on Kodrowski from round one, and he's already opened up a little lead here on the final lap. I think Kodrowski's just going to try to get it together for the second moto. Team Kawasaki, the powerhouse. There is the checkered flag. As the bikes prepare for the drop of the gate, Stanton is not the only wounded warrior out here. Between motos, Mike LaRocco fell very ill. We'll talk about that in a moment. Right now, the gate is down, the charge is on, and once again, into the lead, goes number 19, Michael Craig on the young. Mike Kodrowski, ooh, he left the door open, and through it goes Kodrowski. Just ran a little wide. you got to keep that inside line covered. Here is his teammate, number seven, Mike LaRocco, working the inside on Brian Swink. Took Swink's line away. Yep, he just came out of the corner, positioned himself on the inside. Take up call for Michael Craig. Kodrowski is there. David Bailey commented earlier on how Kodrowski looks to be in a perfect groove. Look at this. He's got position on Craig and makes the uncontested pass. Craig had no response as Mike Kodrowski went by. A perfect example of what you were talking about. There's a huge problem here during the California. Whoa! On the ground goes LaRocco. Wash the front end. Bending machine for championships. The factory's put in the money and he spits out the titles. Two in the 125 class, one in 250, one in 500, and he's on his way to a potential last year would you call this last moto almost flawless uh yeah it's a pretty good race you know i didn't have a real uh, you know heavy pace going the whole time but faced myself to win and uh you know that's what i did for the drop of the gate on the first moto and we're underway and woo right off the bat we've got trouble at the starting line two riders down as the back on a factory bike and back from injury but down in the dirt at the start jeremy mcgrath jumps out front hey it looks like supercross as the reigning Supercross champion on the Honda number two jumps in front of number 19, Craig, under a lot of pressure from number one, Mike Kondrowski, who jumps right by and takes over the number two. Kondrowski clearly is looking for the opening, comes up alongside. This will be the long way around. Oh, actually runs outside the flag, marking the edge of the racetrack, back and cannot. Up front, here goes Kondrowski, inside, drives across the bow, almost runs it off the berm. Makes the pass on Jeremy McGrath. Wow! What a move by Mike Kodrowski. Man on the move is right here. Mike LaRocco. Bad starts, his downfall this season, making up for those bad starts, providing some of the most spectacular action of the Supercross and Motocross season. McGrath, and he's about to do that. He's alongside. Boy, he made that look easy. Uh, he just rode right around him. It's so weird to see Jeremy ride so well indoors, and then these guys ride circles around him out here. It's... And right now, it's all in the favor of this Kawasaki rider. Mike Kodrowski sitting on a comfortable lead, takes the checkered flag and wins the first moto. And for the second moto, gate is down, charged to turn one. LaRocco start the question mark. He's out of the gate a whole bunch stronger this time. Look here, it's Doug Dubai behind him. Kodrowski made the key pass in the first moto. Yeah, that was a piece of cake. That was real nice. Eventually, the inside will come back to you. Note that Kodrowski is right there and trying to do the same to Dubak. He does not want to let Mike LaRocco get away. In fact, Kodrowski cannot afford to be behind LaRocco. He needs to be in front of him. Mike LaRocco and Mike Kodrowski separated by two to three bike lengths. 
Running third and fourth. Oh, and change all that. Jimmy Button's entire race. Two motos. Oh, look at this. Down the inside comes LaRocco. First time we've seen it all day. McGrath went to the outside. The door was wide open. LaRocco says thank you very much and leads the race. Kodrowski has closed. He's alongside McGrath. He's going to try to take that Kawasaki freight train to one, two. The fans go crazy. It's tight in the top three. Who's going to come out of it with second spot? Give it to Kodrowski. We're back at Mount Morris. Mike LaRocco leading Mike Kodrowski. Ooh, LaRocco gets her a little sideways. Up the inside goes Kodrowski. Makes the pass. Mike Kodrowski reversing the order of the two team green bikes here as they come back. Kodrowski headed for home. LaRocco in pursuit, but that pursuit now is pretty half-hearted. The checkered flag falls as Mike Kodrowski sweeps at High Point Raceway, Mount Morris, Pencil. Kodrowski continuing to close in on LaRocco with a big victory here today. He's recently locked up the AMA Supercross Championship. He's playing catch-up, as you can see, from fourth place in the standings as the Kawasaki guys, Mike LaRocco and Mike Kodrowski, lead Crete starting gate. Without that, they just dig a hole in the sand. The gate is down. The charge is on. Here they come to turn one, and he's got a lot of catching up to do. It's going to be number two, McGrath, number 10, Brian Swink, and also getting out quickly, number 16, John Dowd, as you Kodrowski goes by, and Brian Swink will slip from second to fourth. I think what happens is that probably Kodrowski senses an opportunity. If he can put Dowd behind him and possibly catch McGrath, he can put a cushion on Mike LaRocco, who's still caught in traffic. There was the opportunity of the inside line for Kodrowski, and he made... Meanwhile, Jeremy McGrath working through the traffic, and number one, Mike Kodrowski closing in on him. Kodrowski, having worked his way around John Dowd, is now gobbling up the interval to the leader. Oh, and look at this. He's right up alongside. Well, he, what he did here was the same thing that John Dowd did to him. Kodrowski tried to pass him on the inside, the line that McGrath was using, and Kodrowski obviously learned his lesson, rode right around him the same. Inside the racetrack, he is third and closing on Jeremy McGrath, who takes a look over his shoulder and then takes exactly the same line that he took against Kodrowski, and with Mike Sr. looking on... But there is what Kodrowski needed, the checkered flag. He wins the first moto at Southwick. The sign is sideways. The gate is down. There's the launch, and the charge is on into turn number one. And look at this. Mike LaRocco's got himself up front. He's alongside down. Wow, look at that line. LaRocco through the trees and out the other side to take the lead. Dowd is your number two man. There's number two McGrath in third. Stanton is fourth. Jimmy Neese rides in the fifth. Stanton is the outside line up that straightaway. Kodrowski cuts down to the inside and takes fourth spot away from Jeff Stanton. If McGrath makes any kind of a bobble, he's going to have him. Oh, he's not going to wait. Off that big jump, Kodrowski leaps down the inside and blows right by Jeremy McGrath. I don't think McGrath expected to see it there. Kodrowski with a terrific... Unless he can get around LaRocco, he'll end up even on the day because LaRocco will get the three-point advantage here in the second moto. Up the inside goes Kodrowski at the same corner where Stanton passed. Oh, and Kodrowski is on the ground. Mike Kodrowski kept the engine running as the checkered flag falls in moto number two here at Southwick. It has been his. Well, you did get big pressure from your own teammate. Uh, take us through the scenario when you got together. Yeah, I got in some lappers. Uh, he made up all the time on me. He needed to and uh, tried passing me going down the hill. And I saw him on the inside. I said, I wasn't going to make it easy. And, uh, you know, he latched onto me and I kind of drug him down. We're just about set for the drop of the gate. Start of the first of two motos here at Red Bud Track and Trail. The gate is down and the field come charging through the slop and the mud to turn number one. And it looks like a whole shot for Yamaha mounted Michael Craig. Big mistake there by Larry Brooks. He just about bailed off the thing. And here comes Kodrowski to make the pass. He took advantage of what was a fairly minor. He's enabled Stanton to close. Here's the challenge from LaRocco. Tries a different line. Can he make the pass? Brooks will have more momentum. But he can't get back around. And so Kodrowski second. Mike LaRocco third. And the gap from first to second is noticeable. Now Craig will take a different line. Oh, and not a very good line either.
Kadrowski goes by, LaRocco goes by, and in a heartbeat, Craig slips from first to third. Keep it clean in this race. Oh! Brooks over the handlebars. A huge tumble for Larry Brooks. Looked like the rear wheel just kicked up over a jump. Can't find his motorcycle. He's just got a spot all picked out. He continues to uh, ride his own line, and uh, oh, here he comes. He's up alongside. Oh, and they make contact, and Kadrowski goes down. Mike Kadrowski crashes. Mike LaRocco takes the lead up and continue in second spot. But you can bet there will be fireworks when this one is over. The local boy takes the checkered flag. He lives just across the Indiana border. And Kadrowski right behind him. Oh, and Kadrowski flicks his motorcycle at LaRocco after they cross the finish line. Ooh, you can bet the tempers are flaring. Now the Team Kawasaki guys and the AMA officials jump in between them. I've never seen that before. Kadrowski just stepped. The story uh, on, a, on a tremendously competitive race. Uh, I know he was just waiting for a mistake to be made, but what actually happened from your point of view? Well, I wasn't making no mistakes the whole race, you know, and uh, we were, you know, he was, I knew he was right behind me, and I'd pull a little on him. Then he'd gain back up, and then the last turn, you know, he just came up from behind me and just hit my back end right when I was in the turn and made me just flip right over the bars practically, and then he rode right on the inside of me and took off. And, you know, I mean, we're both teammates and everything, and I try to pass him clean. And if he's going to do that every time we race, then, you know, I'm going to do it right back. But I'll do it on the track. The AMA won't make a decision until they see our tape recordings of the actual incident with LaRocco and Kudrowski out on the track. But Roy Jansen was telling me that what he saw with the naked eye was definitely more than aggressive racing and possible fines might be levied at that time. But, of course, retaliation is always wrong. Kudrowski is uh, his release of emotion will definitely cost him a few bucks. And now Roy Turner's job as crew chief and team manager, he's got to get these two guys ready to go for moto number two. Riders, we'll get to that in a moment. Right now we're ready to get down to the start of the second moto. And let's see if the fireworks will continue. The gate is down. The field is away. The charge to turn one is on. And we've got trouble. Up front, number one, Kudrowski. Number seven, LaRocco. Swoop by the local boy Todd DeHoop and another Michigander, number 10, Brian Swink, elbows inside LaRocco and shoves him back to fourth spot. Terrific action up front as Kodrowski gets the jump. On. Number 10, Brian Swink, he's another Michigan boy who uh, now lives in Florida but cut his racing teeth up in this neck of the woods and he's right in there challenging. He wants the lead from Kodrowski and he's got it for the moment. For the first time, oh, and Kudrowski is on the ground. Boy, Brian Swink leads the way. Indiana's Mike LaRocco comes up and moves by with a great pass. And hot on their heels is Jeff Stanton with the best national ride we've seen from him this season. Around the outside, Kudrowski cannot complete the pass, but will he make it here? Yes, he does. Kudrowski has, and now he's close enough they can hear him. Well, yeah, he's a, here comes uh, Kudrowski up the inside, and, uh, you know, he, he just caught Stanton too quickly for uh, Stan to be a factor in this battle and third isn't bad you know but uh, I'm sure he'd like to try to figure out a way to get back you know back past. everybody here is wondering what's going to happen now as Mike LaRocco is reeled in by Mike Kudrowski oh and LaRocco falls down LaRocco just washed out the front end be the guys to beat for the championship waving to the crowd Mike Kudrowski takes the checkered flag and the Red Butt Track and Trail National comes down to a split. Mike LaRocco takes the checkered flag and figures, well, all things considered, I guess I'm happy. Like you were going to come down to another confrontation with your teammate. Uh, Divine Justice took over or something like that because he went down, and all you had to do is hold your steady line. Yeah, you know, when I was behind him, I knew, you know, I, I'm going to pass him clean, I'm going to pass him right, and we talked about it between motos, and, and we both agreed, hey, we're gonna, it's going to be a long year between us, and we don't want to start right now, so... You know, I wasn't planning on where am I going to get him, you know, or hit him or something like that. And I was going to pass him smooth somewhere. And he was riding fast, you know. I just He made a mistake, and I closed up, and then he made another one and fell. And it's the only way I got by him. The line is the point gap remains the same. LaRocco still leads by 11. The controversy between the Kawasaki teammates. We see the empty grid. It was reserved for Mike Kudrowski, and that injury in practice was much more serious than even Mike thought. With us is Roy Turner. Roy, what was the problem now? 
Well, just in practice, Mike was following some other riders and a big rock got thrown up and it hit his throttle hand on the third finger and between the two knuckles, it shattered the bone in about six places. So basically that's it for Mike for the series. He's out. The whole series? The whole series. That's uh, an injury basically. I mean, it's skin holding that together right now, that finger. So um, you're looking at four to six weeks probably before he's going to be able to be back on a bike. Dave, we're just about ready for these machines to fire up without the defending champion. Meanwhile, LaRocco on the final lap and still on cruise control. There's the checkered flag for LaRocco. Confidence uh, affects his riding next year, indoors and out. LaRocco takes home the championship in front of the adoring Washougal fans. He will carry the number one plate.